Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for 22 News at Noon. I'm David McKay filling in for Rich Tedemer today. Pope Francis joined President Barack Obama at the White House this morning. 22 News reporter Julie McDonald is in D.C. right now with how some Western Massachusetts residents saw history unfold. Wow, what a whirlwind a few hours it's been so far in the nation's capital this morning. And we are only a couple hours into the Pope's visit here in America. The Pope emerged from the embassy doors this morning just before 9. He wasted no time getting right out there to speak with students. And then it was off to the White House for the official welcoming ceremony with President Obama. I want to talk a little bit more about that with Congressman Richard Neal, who has graciously invited us up on your beautiful balcony here today. So we heard from the Pope in English this morning, and he wasted no time getting to a topic that we knew we were going to hear about, and that was climate change, the care that, the responsibility that all of us have in caring for our home. We knew he was going to talk about some of these issues, and more of those ahead tomorrow. Tell me what we can expect tomorrow. Well, I think it's hard to anticipate. I think that his words certainly will be healing, and at the same time, he will challenge all of us to be better than we currently are. And, and I think that that, in and of itself, represents a challenge for man and womankind but not also to miss the sense of excitement that is palpable in this city today by the visit of Francis. Mm -hmm. The Francis effect we've been talking about. Well, it's, uh, there's, there's much about it. I can tell you that. There's, a, again, uh, anticipation and optimism, I think, accompany his visit. I also think the personal humility that he exhibits is something we all should be mindful of as well. Mm -hmm. And President Obama talked about that this morning. He re uh, re recognized the qualities that make Francis so popular, his uh, humility, his kind words, his generous spirit. People of all faiths and of all ages really just can find something to appreciate about him. Well, I think that the obligation is to lift the spirit of man and womankind, and I think to call all of us again to a place where we can be better than we currently are. We talked to Bishop Mitchell Rosansky also, who was very excited about today as he's praying with the Pope right now. But he, along with you and myself, looking forward to tomorrow when the Pope's going to make history by addressing Congress. Well, it's a, really an extraordinary moment, the idea that we would have moved so far from the Kennedy and Al Smith years where a Pope might, as uh, a head of state incidentally, have a chance to address the Congress of the United States. And again, I think that his words tomorrow uh, will be words of great optimism. And, and not to miss the point, it nonetheless is an extraordinary moment when you consider that uh, the Bishop of Rome might address the Congress of the United States. Much excitement ahead. Can't believe we're only a couple hours into this trip so far. And history still to be made today. The canonization mass is going to happen later this afternoon of Spanish missionary Junipero Serra. So stay with 22 News both on the air and online for updates throughout this trip here in D.C., in New York City, and of course in Philadelphia this weekend. Live in the nation's capital, I'm Julie McDonald for 22 News.